Hey, I hope you've had a great day today. Um, have you ever lied? Yikes. Right? That's self-examination time, right? Look in the mirror. We all need to do that on occasion, right? We, we say things and, um, Sometimes when we get questioned about something, we may have made a mistake at work or uh, our house. We may have done something wrong in the community. Uh, officer, I swear I wasn't speeding, right? Those things happen. And then we have, well, we have an opportunity to either tell the truth or we can tell a lie. We can try to cover up what we've done wrong. And here's what happens, right? Usually... When we tell the truth, we don't have to worry about trying to remember what we had said because we know what happened because it's the truth. We remember it in our brain, right? When we lie, all of a sudden, somebody else says, well, what about, and then we've got to make up another lie to cover up for the other lie. And we aren't the first to lie about things. We're not the first ones to mess it up and, and let things fall out of our mouth and then try to cover it up right? Uh, king David, right? He is literally the king of Israel. He is a guy who has all the power in the entire country. He is a man after God's own heart. God has uh, made him the king. I mean, David and Goliath, right? All this stuff. He's, he's this guy. And he's out looking, right, on his, on his roof one night. And he's like, hey, who's that babe down there, right? She's taking a bath on her roof. And he sends a messenger and says, hey, come on up here, baby. And the next thing you know, Bathsheba is pregnant, right? And he's like, oh, man, I, I got to cover this up. So he sends for Uriah, her husband, who's out on the front lines uh, battling the Ammonites, and says, hey, come on back. Uh, and hey, how's, how's the war going? You doing good? Hey, thanks for coming. Love you. Well, go spend some time with your wife. And Uriah is a man of integrity and an upright man. He's like, no, I'm not going to go spend the night with my wife and I'm just going to sleep out here on the doorstep because it's not fair that all my buddies are out there sleeping on the ground during war times and you're letting me go spend time with my wife. And David tries again the next night. He gets him drunk and says, hey, go go hang out with Bathsheba. And Uriah says, no. David finally says to the general, hey, Uriah's coming back. I want you to put him in the, the heaviest fighting. And when it's heaviest, pull your guys back and let them get killed. David, right, it, it's a snowball effect. He, he sees the woman. He lusts after the woman. He calls the woman into his palace. He has sex with the woman. He gets her pregnant. He, right? And now he tries to cover it up. Hey, come back and cover it up. And he won't cover it up. So, boom, he has him killed. What? Now, I'm pretty sure that none of us have ever had things snowball on us like that, but we probably have had lies snowball in our lives at some point, because here's the thing. When we lie, it gets dicey. When we tell the truth, when we become men and women of integrity, people look at us and go, hey, I can absolutely trust that person when they say, this is this, they know that that is truth. And as followers of Jesus, we need to be men and women of truth. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.